When I was a resident, I uh, was um, curious, fascinated, and a little bit uh, terrified by the phenomena of a group of patients which at that time weren't diagnosed, uh, but who gave great deal of difficulty to the nursing staff, to my fellow residents. Our supervisors didn't know how to help us very much. And I got introduced to a not very well-known literature about a group of people called borderline, at that time borderline schizophrenic or borderline neurotic or atypical of a lot of things and not clearly having any center. And we did a, wrote a review, which co was called Divining Borderline Patients, published 1975. That article transformed my career. I was suddenly thought to be a great expert on a group of patients that actually kind of scared the bejesus out of me. So I've got lots of referrals, lots of consultations, asked to give talks, had anxiety attacks because I didn't know what I was talking about. And then I got involved in doing research and uh, did the work that defined the disorder and got it introduced into the classification system in 1980. So that's how I got into it. I, I got very well known on account of an expertise I didn't have. And I did the work I did was more based on an effort to get some control and distance from a phenomena that scared me.